Here I am at the Plain of Jars. I'm in Laos. Wow, look, there's a whole bunch of them down there. Have to go down and check that out. Some gum in that one. <clears throat> anyway, they've been out here for thousands of years, and uh, they're still here which is pretty amazing considering the Americans bombed the hell out of this place during the 60s and 70s trying to get at the communists. I think they thought the communists were maybe hiding in these jars. I'm not sure about that. Oh. They were carved out of some kind of sandstone cement and then they think maybe they were dragged down here from a long ways away by elephants. Oh, that sounds neat in there. Can you hear that? Put the mic down there and talk. Maybe these... Maybe these uh, urns were funerary urns that Buddhists used to put bones in and then let them rot away and then take them out and clean them and do whatever it is that Buddhists do with bones after they do that. This jar is metamorphosed into a uh, Henry Moore sculpture. Oh, somebody put a trash can over there. Let's go check that out. Remnants of today's civilization. Here's a, an itty bitty jar. Maybe it was for a uh, itty bitty Buddhist. I think this might be a lid. Might have found a lid. Yeah, that's definitely a lid. The area I'm in is just a small cordoned off area, but there are maybe even tens of thousands of these scattered all over the place. And they've been here for, oh, like say thousands of years. Kind of makes you think. And yet another bomb crater. Seems like we should have had something better to do with our bombs and drop them on the plane of jars. We got over here some vandals. <laughs> Those kids started throwing stuff at me, so I'm going to go this direction for a while. Archaeologists really haven't had much of a chance to get out here and do their work, but, uh, which means not a whole lot's known about this place. Right now, I probably know just about as much as 99.9% .9 of the world. And I don't know anything. Why people like to get in lines, I've never quite understood. Get six people and they'll get themselves in a line no matter what the situation. All this space and they're going to walk one right behind the other. It's human nature. Now there's a sign I recognize. UXO, that means unexploded ordnance. So I guess right there in that hole, roped off there, you can see it's probably a big bomb. I'll bet you anything that says the same thing. Don't fiddle with the bomb. Well, I always wanted to come here. This was on my list of places, things to do. Timbuktu, the Madonna concert, the Plain of Jars. What a weird place.